Proverbs chapter 2. My son, if you receive the utterance of my commandment and hide it with you, so that your ear shall hearken to wisdom, and shall also apply your heart to understanding, and shall apply it to the instruction of your son. Yes, if you shall cry for wisdom and lift your voice for understanding, and if you shall seek it as silver and search diligently for it as for hidden treasures, then shall you understand what it means to respect and find the knowledge of Tatanzambi. For Tatanzambi gives wisdom, and from his presence knowledge and understanding. He stores away sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a shield for those who walk in integrity. He guards the path of justice, and he will preserve the way of his sins. Then shall you understand righteousness and justice, and shall direct all your course aright. For when wisdom come into your understanding, and discernment shall seem pleasing to your soul, discretion shall guide you, and holy understanding shall keep you, to deliver you from the evil way and from the man that speaks perverse things. Alas, who forsake right paths, to walk in ways of darkness, who rejoice in evils, and delight in wicked perverseness, whose paths are crooked, and their courses winding, to remove you far from the straight way, and to estrange you from a righteous purpose. My son, let no evil counsel mislead you to an immortal woman who has forsaken the companion husband of a youth and forgotten the covenant of the Tanzambi. For she has fixed a house near death and her wills lead to the dead. None that go by her shall return, neither shall they take hold of right paths, for they are not apprehended of the years of life. For had they gone in good paths, they would have found the paths of righteousness easy. For the upright shall dwell in the earth, and the holy shall be left behind in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the earth, and transgressors shall be driven far from it.